just about 20 seconds ago filmed me saying, today I would like to find more, 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 more. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You suck, Gab. Yeah, there you go, you suck, Gabo. Now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna organize all my Nintendo games. Today's gonna be a unique day, and unique for a few reasons. One, we're going to a place we've never been before, an event called Bits and Beers from our buddy Romeo at LA Video Games, who's actually a big sponsor of SoCal Gaming Expo. But we're also going to game hunt with Scott White and John Bentley. Yes, really important voice actors. We'll get to that a little later, though. All right, boys, we're definitely a little early, maybe too early. Way too early. We might be like an hour early and not be able to get in. Definitely early. But, Ricky, what is the game you're looking for today for the NES all right, set? All right, all right, all right. Let's go with Dragon Fighter today. I, I need to get it cheap, though. Not, not cheap, but at least at a decent price. Ben? I actually want Roger Clemens MVP Baseball, which wow. is. <laughs> what? But it, the label has to be like near perfect. Wasn't expecting that answer. <laughs> Personally, I would like to finally get DuckTales 2. I've been wanting it at many conventions, many things, many places. Let's see if today's the day. DuckTales 2. We just about 20 seconds ago filmed me saying, today I would like to find, and I just walked up, we haven't even got in, I said DuckTales 2. I'm not joking, we, we couldn't have planned this out. I literally just said it right there 10 seconds ago. Was it on Dude. film though? Yes, yes, yes. Then it, then yes. It, for real. And we haven't even walked in yet. I okay. think that I knew if I was hoping you guys were coming, so you guys okay. can take a look, let me know what you need. Oh my Ooh. gosh, okay, so, but we do need to look and see a lot of these commons, Ricky, because we're missing some of the basics. Yeah. So yeah. we'll have to look through that, but we do have all the Mega Mans and Toxic Crusaders, but this, okay, we're gonna talk about this in a minute. Let me see this too. I don't think we have a boy in his blob yet either, which is uh, a game that I like. I think John Riggs is a big fan of this as well. Super unique gameplay. You can like feed basically a little blob that follows you around and it turns into different ways. You can play the game in like different styles of gameplay. Super unique, super different. So I think me and Riggsy boy both love this game. All right, this is, I cannot believe the DuckTales too. I'm gonna get it. He actually has it for a good deal, 220. It goes for like 240 on price charting. So that, and I'm also gonna pick up this Mario Kart 64 bundle it in so I can sell this also on whatnot, uh, sell this on whatnot, so I've earned back a little bit of money to help soften the blow on this. And I'm gonna pick up a uh, boy in his blob as well. And I think Ricky might get his own copy of Toxic Crusaders because technically the other one's mine. Special thanks to LA hey, Video Games. Let's go. Game squad, let's go. Our homie Romeo, how long have you been doing these events? Man, I've been doing these events for like, for the LA Video Games company, like three years already. Been let's years. go. We only yeah. just got here. We're having a blast. We haven't even walked in There's and we're having a blast. Calls. Hey, and thank you for SoCal Expo. Of uh, course, the, our man. big sponsor, man. Yes. I, we work together, together as a team. Isn't that great? Let's go. And look at this. I'm already Amazing. supporting your vendors. Hey, look at that. I haven't even go. walked in yet. So. Oh, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate You're welcome, you. Bro. And I got the SoCal banners up right there. Thank you, dude. So I am looking through more Switch games right now. I actually found uh, Dead Cells, Castlevania, Sealed, by the way. Um, I grabbed this, the Mario All-Stars, Mario Party 8, Mario Galaxy, Super Paper Mario, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and then I found this weird brown variant of this one. Oh. One, one, one what? This brown variant oh, of Ricky. Well, you was, oh, oh. There's, only, there's, only, there's only one Ricky. Actually, I'm wider than Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, these two NES games put us at 351 NES games, breaking the 350 mark. So at this event, they have two vendor halls. There's one in here, and they have our SoCal Expo booth, which is great, supporting. And then they have another uh, vendor booth down in this area, or vendor hall, which they're not fully set up yet, but 
Super cool, super unique. I'm super excited to hunt. Ricky, let's go with the NES controllers. Dude, I have That's to. That's some of the best display, dude. What are you paying? Or you don't uh, know yet? 45. Oh, nice, dude. I'll, hey, I'll give you 50, dude. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's not how we work. Oh, who was that? What's up, man? I, I knew by the squeal. Oh, good. <laughs> it's like, a that, familiar squeal. That's a Mort hey, squeal I've ever heard one. Good Mort, to see you. you're an entertainer. Do something entertaining. I like to dance and move my hands around and steal Ricky Sims. Oh, no! Bye, Mort. <laughs> I gotta say that I have so many NES games that after this, I am 100% gonna go home and alphabetize my entire collection that I have so far. All the way out of the ties. I was just j digging through a big stack of old sealed PS1 games, and I came across these Beyblade ones. And on the show, well, I guess not on the show, but privately, I've been kind of buying a lot of sealed stuff recently. I'll be honest, I've been loading up on stuff on whatnot, been buying a ton of stuff from sellers on whatnot. I think I'm gonna buy these both sealed right here, these Beyblades. He's only asking 15 each, so, but they're just like really nice. Beside from the cool Circuit City stickers, uh, everything else on them is really nice with old hang tabs still attached. Yeah, take them both for 30 bucks. And I just lied and picked up three of them. Gentlemen, you have 22 on these. Would you do 20? Two dollars off? $22 off, come on. No, I, two, no we do two dollars off. off. Yeah. Twenty-two dollars yeah. off. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. That, that was rough. <laughs> Thank you. More. More just showed me this. Bucky O'Hare, nineteen eighty-six novel. Isn't that cool? How much you want for it? 30. 30. Let me, let me, I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna have to look it up, bro. Look I, it up. I don't trust you that much. You, you shouldn't. He, he's white. <laughs> All right, so newest NES pickups, Mickey Mouse Capade, the less loved Capcom game uh, that has like that Disney feel to it. And then also Cabal. Which I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest Cabal guy. I like Cabal, but I'm not super into it. Blasphemy. I, that, okay. game is, that game is great, bro. Okay, well, it's not for everybody, but what I want to see, Gabo, is where we're at. So that's going to put us at 351, 352, 353 NES games. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back with the world's greatest sponsor of all time that I've ever done. We're back with Mr. With a little more information this time. All right, I've been super impressed with the N64. Let, let's have Wave Race on in the background while we talk this time. There's some things I should clarify this time around. Does it get much better than that? Not really. It really doesn't. Mr. Add-ons is who I've been working with and I am so thankful because their products have been nothing but amazing and having me enjoying video games again, retro games again, in the most crystal clear, perfect way ever, Mr. Add-ons. I love you, you've changed the scope of the way I play video games right now. I should mention though that Mr. FPGA is an open source project. Now Mr. Add-ons does design and sell some super cool custom stuff and open source stuff, but I don't want to ignore the fact that this is an open source project. So this, this beautiful case here from Mr. Add-ons is anodized aluminum. So this is passively cool. I know not a lot of people love having fans going the whole time, so this is the most premium way you can have this going. The anodized aluminum, it's beautiful, it's sleek, it's cool. <gasps> It's almost cold. No, that was an exaggeration. Why did I do that? <laughs> so obviously I've been playing this on a beautiful OLED. It looks amazing, but I have to point out, Ben has told me and others that this thing looks amazing on CRTs. I know a ton of people are super into playing strictly on CRT. And from what I'm being told, it's a thing of beauty. So previously I showed myself playing with this 8-bit dough, also some other random controllers, honestly don't even know. But what I've been told is that Mr. works with like nearly every single, Mr. Add-ons has you working with nearly every single USB type joystick controller there is. You can also play with original controllers if you have the snack or USB adapter for the controller. And just so you know, Snack's main highlight is being able to use special accessories like memory cards or light guns with CRTs in case you wanna play duck hunt and things like that. So that's it for this one. Be prepared because I'm still gonna be talking about this one more time in another video in the future. Again, Mr. Add-ons, you guys, link down below. I am telling you, avid retro gamer my entire life, this is the way to do it. If you're not playing with original hardware and you're doing anything else, this is the way to go. Mr. Add-ons, I'm my Boy Scouts, boy, what is the thing they do? I don't even know. Telly ho, thank you. Uh oh, Wayne's World. That's a banger, dude. I've only, ha I, so I had this back in the day, but the, main, the, the label was garbage when I had it. Yeah, I remember that one. It was garbage. It was like half gone. 
Oh man, I don't know. Let me see, I'll look it up. Chubb said I can look it up. Let's see, I'm scared. He said he would do 180 bucks. I'm debating. I already did spend a bunch of money on the DuckTales too. So how badly do I want to spend the money that quickly? But it is a good deal. And it's like a, I'd say 90% good condition rating. So I don't know. I'm really thinking. Do I need to buy Wayne's World today for the NES set? No. You say no. No, here's why. Why? You have an incredible series going right now. Yes. Where you are trying to get all these games. Yes. Take your time. Did, uh, like Get like five amazing scores today, all from me at double oh, okay. the retail price. That's where that was going. What do you think? Just go and buy it. Let's go oh, I here. like your style. Yeah. Okay, I have Let's to think. Ahead. I'll get more advice. Okay. What's going on here? Should I buy Wayne's World for 180? Of course. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Two to one, more. Two to one. It feels so good to be here in this community. And this is a little bit different community than we're used to. This is more in like the LA area. We're normally in like the Orange County area. But it's nice to see a lot of the same faces that we see all the time. A lot of the same beautiful similar faces. But also a lot of the new people as well. And one thing that's sticking on me though, I really got to make a decision sometime soon. Am I going to get that Wayne's World? I really want to, but then maybe I don't need to rush into it. But it's here now. We'll wait and see. Gabo? Gabo Good. just told me he bought me a game. Yeah. I saw you need it for your collection, you know? I don't, and it's so funny because when you're asked stuff like this, yes, the bangers are always in mind, but you gotta yeah. remember the ones you just need. I'm helping collection. with little by little. Little by little. But what'd you buy, Gabo? You I bought, bought this for 15 bucks. To be honest, I already have it, but I love this game so much, I'm gonna flip it. And you got it for 15 bucks? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like half off, bro. That's like a $30 game. I use the brown card. Let's go. Brown card activated. Hey. Oh. And that puts me at 354 NES games. This is, this is unbelievable. You are not signing my NES game. What are you doing right now? No, you did not sign. This isn't the NES hole. You <laughs> suck, Gab. Yeah, there you go. You suck, Gabo. Perfect. <laughs> well, or you can say, you sick, Gabo. <laughs> <laughs> just says, you suck, Gabo. There you go. Well, dude. Man. You know what? Thanks, After man. signing this, I discovered this. Dude, this is super clean. I hate look, you. Dude, look at that. Not anymore. No, it's, it's not anymore. It's not. Thank you. You blew it. Ask me how much for these guys, for two of them? For you? You wanna take both of them? Good deal for you. How much? 50 for both. <laughs> sold, 100% sold, 100% sold. All right, so perfect, perfect way again. This is helping me get more expensive games. I'm still debating on that Wayne's World, guys. That's stupid question. It's called an expansion pack. Oh, for the N64? For the N64, More graphics? Uh, it actually makes the whole N64 uh, rumble. It gives it like a rumble pack feature. And if you uh, plug in like a Game Boy Super, Super Game Boy Advance player into your DS, but attach the Game Boy uh, Hyperkin link, it'll actually be four, seven, 47 players. More, 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 more. Excuse me, sir. Can I get one of your finest copies of Rollerblade Racer on the NES? Oh. Yes, you may. Wow, it's different than I remember. Oh, did you lose it, bro? Come on, bro. Wow, I came here for service and got slapped. I kept it in a very good place for the people. Let's go. Whoa. I need it for me's collection. There you go. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Okay, see ya. Gabo, what are you buying? You want both your hair? You get it? Maybe, maybe. maybe. Mr. Mort, can I have a Super Double Dragon for Super NES CIB? And also, he's giving me in the hunt. What a guy you are. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. What just happened? Dude, that is one of the best Super Nintendo games there is. There is. Very true. And one thing to notice, if you ever listen to the sound effects when you like cut them with knives, it actually sounds like pretty gnarly. I remember as a kid, it kind of grossed me out. The music. Of course I remember the music. My dad was the guy who developed the ROM for that. Your dad was? Yeah. That's so not I mean, you, that's good, buddy. This game puts the NES pursuit at 355 games. Wow. And it sucks. 
and I totally meant to tell you guys, uh, Scott White, my buddy Scott White, and John Bentley are here. They're gonna be here any second. Uh, voice actors for Crash Bandicoot, Starscream from Transformers, uh, Homer Simpson from Simpsons Games, uh, Barrett from Final Fantasy VII Remake, and a whole bunch more. But they should be here any second. They're parking, I think. And the boys what? have arrived. We are here. They're here. All right, guys, I have a little mission for you guys. Uh -oh. In there, in those halls, I need you guys to at least find me one game that you guys have been in. But you ought to be your game. It's got, oh, give me a couple, give me a couple, I give me a couple. What have you been in? It depends. It's, it's, we gotta see. I'm not a braggadocious kind of guy. Oh, come on! Okay. What about you? Do two. Let's, two? Okay, what about you, Scott? No, no. I think uh, Crash Bandicoot. Maybe you got a Crash Bandicoot game in okay, there. Okay, as, as long as it's one you voice. You. Okay, yeah, for you. sure. I guarantee you find several versions of your game <laughs> yeah, in there. Good. All right, let's go let's find do it, boys. Yeah. All right, I feel dumb like immediately because we walked up to one booth and they counted like five games they were in. All right, let me see. All right, hey, j just, Yo. You, this is your humble brag, okay? You get to. What games did you guys already find that you guys were in? Oh, well, because you're asking. Go ahead. Uh, way, let's no, no, what, what were you in? All right, give me some. Give me some you were in, John. Black Ops. Black Ops? Uh, Call of Duty. Okay. Um, Last of Us. Oh, and you were in Ratchet and Clank? Yep. Yep, Captain Quark in the last Ratchet and Clank. Rift I really liked that game, by the way. A lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did. Oh, yeah, that was a great game. Uh, yeah, the same Call of Duty stuff, Black Ops, yep. Yeah. You guys were both in Call of Duty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a Call of Duty clan tag. Come on, let's join. I'm going to join. Oh, you? <laughs> that USA is my clan tag. It's amazing. 100%. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And then they said they were both in the new Spider Man as well. Oh, yeah. God of War? God of War, we're in that one too. Ricky, I thought we were cool like five minutes ago. Dude, we're not even cool. Why are we not cool anymore? Dang it. These guys are way cooler. <laughs> What's up, bro? Can you guys oh, convince this guy to sell me his entire booth? He won't do it. So I wouldn't either. He got a Oh, come on, man. <laughs> uh, how much would you sell an entire booth for? So how much for the booth? <laughs> Two mortgages? Oh, that's What's smart thinking, John. I like that. <laughs> Mr. Barrett. Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII. Right the there. Deluxe edition. How much is Wait, that? He's the, he's the voice of Barrett. $150. Can you give which us a line? A steal, which is a steal. Can you give us a line? <laughs> Y'all know the rest. <laughs> yeah, right there, man. Dude, right there. Seriously, that's what I'm saying. Take it from me for $150. Someone take my game. And have him sign it. Sign it have him sure sign it. Have him sign it. It's just going to be on the plastic. Dang, there it is, bro. Did you enjoy doing this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's one of your favorites that you've done? One of my favorite that games? That you've done, yeah, that you've ever done, as far as doing the voice. There's a lot, man. It's, it's a whole yeah, lot of stuff. Okay, like I said, I got to pull out IMDb myself. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm hoping you sell it. I'm going to come back. <laughs> Let's go. And now Scott's signing. What, what, so what did you Legend play? Legend of Heroes, Trails to Azure. This is, uh, I played Crow Armbrust in these games in this series. So I'm going to sign this one for my man right here. Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And Riff already got the, he already told me how to do it. See, bro, now you owe me a better deal. <laughs> I, now you owe me a better deal on the booth, bro, if I buy it. <laughs> you were in that? That you said that was the first game, game you were in. I ever did. What, what voice did you do? One of the bad guys. We had four of us. Me, Bumper Washington, two other cats. All four of us were in the same place together. Oh, that's we awesome, dude. That. We played all the bad guys. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm really debating still on the Wayne's World. I know it's a game I don't really need, but I'm just feeling like I really want... Wait, why am I narrating my video? I'm with pro voice actors. Rift, this is Homer Simpson. I don't know why you're not buying that Wayne's World game right away. Party on, Wayne! Woohoo! The hell are you trying to convince him to buy something for? Boy ain't got no money. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> he lives in Newport Beach. It's a little loud in here, but I think I'm going to truly ponder it over lunch right now. It's pizza time, as Leonardo may say. Dude, pizza? Whoa! Oh, cowabunga, dude! Which one were you in? Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, uh, Shadow, mm. Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> and which one were you in? <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. There we go. <laughs> All right, we just threw down some pizzas. We got time to think, and now the question, I need a real answer this time. Let's re I need a consensus from all of you. Okay. Which all of you guys will be at SoCal Gaming Expo, oh, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Shut yeah. to throw that out one time. Go yeah. see them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> all right. 
You start first, Mr. John Bentley. Should I buy Wayne's World? You, it, how much is it? It's $180, but it's rare. You didn't tell me that. I didn't tell you, but it's, it's rare, and I didn't tell you this either. I am collecting every original Nintendo game ever made, and I don't have right, that one. You got to. We you have know a, why? Why? Because I went to Nordstrom's Rack the other day. No, I'm going to tell the story, Scott. <laughs> don't, don't stop me from telling the story. I'm going to tell the story. I'm, I'm telling the story, regardless of what you say. I'm going to eat my pizza. I'm going to tell you the story. I went to Nordstrom's Rack the other day, and there's a pair of Doc Martin slip like sandals, like, you know, penny loafers, yeah. stuff, right? Blood red. Can't find them anywhere. Can't even find them over in, in UK because UK won't deliver here. I'm just letting you know that for those of you who like Dr. Mark. Okay. Anyway, long story short, size, perfect. Put them on, felt great. Said, hey, I'll come back because my wife oh. told me we don't have the money for it. I'm like, no, we do have the money for it. I'm going to make the money this week for it. She didn't believe me. So I said, I'm, I'm going to make my wife happy. Anyway, so oh. I'll leave them there. I went back just the other day on Monday. Gone. Hard. Gone. Crushed. Gone. Dude, thousand dollar shoes. Nope. <laughs> $75 for a pair of $180. So you're saying that could happen to me with Wayne's World. You better get it. <laughs> Scott, White, Mr. Listen. Coming from. Listen. Listen. I want you to buy this game. I want you to buy it now. Uh, listen, coming from someone that grew up playing NES, uh, not knowing that there was a Wayne's World game. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, Wayne and Garth are my favorite people. Party on, Wayne. <laughs> I would say. You have to buy it. I think I don't care if you have to take a bank loan. I know the financial situation you're in, and it's not good. <laughs> John and I will give you a couple dollars. Don't talk to my wife. <laughs> Ricky? You have to do it, man. Do it. Why even asking me, bro? You should take their advice. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Before I go home and clean, not clean my games. Before I go home and organize all my games in alphabetical order first, we're buying Wayne for Ricky. This is it. This is closing out. We already got DuckTales 2 today. Well, let's go get it. Come on, Ricky. Come on, audience. Come along. All right, sorry. I had the wagon. Uh, may I see your finest copy of Wayne's World, please? Right here. You know, I was. I'm in. I already told him I'd do 180. I'm in. It's like people only do things because they get paid. There you go. Thank you, sir. And I bought Chippendale 2 from him last time in one of the last episodes. So. You guys are taking all my money. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mushi I appreciate it. Let's go analyze. What are we at? I'll have to look after, Ricky. So I I feel good. It's not. It, this is one of those ones though where it's like you know you need to get it for the collection, but it's not really the best game. But that's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's in the bag. Oh, party on! Dude. Let's go! <laughs> I got it. Look at this! Oh, I dropped it! Wait, girl! Party on! Excellent! I feel good about it. I feel oh, so good. My God. Dude. Look, I mean, just look at You'll never regret this purchase. It's, it's in a, it's Wait a minute. great shape. It is in good shape. Now, I will say, I I'm, blow it. I'm gonna say it now, the game kinda sucks, but it's okay. I needed it, though. So. Were you rolling no. on that? Uh, yeah, I'm rolling, so, and that's that. Dude. A great day today. We saw a lot of great video games, met a lot of nice people. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna organize all my Nintendo games in alphabetical order. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> all right, Taffy, are we ready to do it? Are we ready? Are we ready for the big job? Oh boy. All right, I've been putting this off for a long time. I, I don't even want to do this right now, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it once I get into it. And that is organizing all of my games so far in alphabetical order. They've been sitting here, they're looking pretty, they're looking nice, but getting this in alphabetical order is gonna be fun. I, I already know, I got my NES music on, I'm gonna end up enjoying it. By the way, come on, shout out to how good this place is looking. We're super hyped, so. All right, I think it's time for me to just jump in and do it, and I'll update you guys when it's done. Before then, I gotta say that Ricky uh, gave me his Bible Buffet box, and it's mint condition. We actually got this uh, from one of the creators, one of the owners, I think one of the devs, I can't remember who exactly they were, but they had dead stock of these boxes, so my Bible Buffet now has a box. I 
know the music's loud, but I just got this shelf done. I got my, my lunch that I have every day, by the way. That's what I eat every day for lunch to break my fast. And I got all this stuff on the floor, but now up next is this wall. And I don't know, guys, if it's the music playing or what it is, but right now, going through these games, like handling them one by one, it is getting to me. And I, I hate feeling that way, or I, I like it, but I hate it every time I feel like, I don't know, I feel not embarrassed, I don't think embarrassed is the word, but I think it shocks me every time how powerful and how strong of a hold nostalgia really has on me. Because when I hold this stuff, I find myself at certain moments like literally just handling a game. Like when I grabbed Mega Man 2 and the music's in the background and I hear Nintendo music, it just hits me on a level that, <clears throat> like I said, I feel almost embarrassed because I, I find myself even getting like watery eyes sometimes and I think it's just such a testament to how I grew up and the way my parents raised me and the memories I had as a family with my brothers. We we did not have much. We didn't have much at all. But what we did have is a stronghold as brothers as is in a family of the games we played. Obviously we were 90s kids, we were outdoors every second of our life, but it's crazy how much power there is just simply in handling these games hearing the music and letting the memories swarm as I look around at the games around me now. Okay, games are on the floor. I'm going to show you, oh, and there's some up there too, the actual box ones versus my amazing miniboxgaming.com. Um, I'm going to get them on the shelves, but I'm not going to bore you guys with anything until it's done. I'll see you when it's done. All right, I lied, I'm back already. I'm gonna go to Home Depot. Um, I need to go home, Home Depot for a pretty important reason, but a good reason that I didn't even think of until just now. It's very a, a very good coincidence that this is happening. I just got done cleaning those shelves. Here you guys, my rag. I just got done cleaning those shelves, but I, w I had the shelves more spread out before because I was having things like these stored on there, but now I knew this time was coming, but I forgot when more games come, I get to move the shelves tighter. So as you can see, the full boxes will fit just like that, nice and tight. And then the smaller boxes, like the mini box games, if you look, they'll have to be spread out like that with them as well. So at least they'll be nice and snug now. Um, so I'm gonna go buy more shelves at Home Depot right now. I need two more of these, because that'll fit one, two more, and then we'll work on this. I think they're six foot. Let me grab a, a, a tape measure real quick. I think they're six foot. Let me grab one. I think so though. I'm so dumb they're four foot. I don't even know why I said six foot. It's four foot. We're gonna get two more four footers and then three more brackets. You know what's what's crazy to me is years ago, what, 11, 12 years ago, I know we've been doing for 12 years, but 11 years ago when we were building the game room, there was footage of us coming up here to the same Home Depot with the American flags blowing in the wind. And um, yeah, for the same thing, to get stuff and shelves for the game room in the same place. Now it's just 12 years later. Wow. And uh, I had my shelving. Yeah, get some shelving. The Home Depot, where doers get more done. Ooh, the carts seem like they're lightweight now. What the upgrade? What have I told you all tips a million times? Always get the wife flowers. My wife loves this kind of stuff, by the way. She doesn't like traditional flowers. I think I've said that before. Uh, random fact, anytime you buy like shelving like this or even wood or lumber, check every single corner, every edge because every once in a while I'll forget and I'll go home and be like, dang it, the shelf has like a big nick on one side or a big corner chunked out or the wood will be, the wood will be like bowed or a little bit. So always look, I'm sure you knew that, but you know, tips from riffs, tips, what? Please remove your card. <laughs> baby let's go all right now that's nice and tight okay now now time for me to work see you in a minute
popped over the G stack. I, I never thought I'd be sweating doing this, but they're all here organized, which is great because I'm realizing like there's some games I even have like doubles of CIB, like true CIB that I didn't know, uh, some loose games that I didn't realize I had multiple copies of. So besides from this being the best way for me to be able to go forward and play games and know where everything is, this is super beneficial just for the collection in general. And there's, holy crap, a ton of stuff. Here's another example, look at this. Codename Viper, CIB, good one. And then two more copies right there. What the? I literally thought I had one. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, I am feeling so good right now. I love this. This makes me so happy finally to know that like, hey, I wanna get a game, oh boom. If I know what it is and I know what I wanna play, I can finally find it. Um, waiting on some more boxes from Mini Box Gaming. Obviously you guys see some of the loose ones kinda of hanging out in there. Um, he's sending me more right now. I just got an order going from him. I uh, didn't wanna move around things too much like in there because I know I'm going to the Swamp Meet again. I'm gonna fill out more games. Got some stuff kinda of lying around right here right now. Nothing too crazy set up on this side because I know more games are coming. So it ends up equaling like about 55 games or so per line right here. So obviously I'm gonna have to get uh, more shelves up, but I feel like this wall itself, just even this wall alone can fill quite a bit of games. So with this area getting full later, you know, another 55 there, maybe stack them double high. So 100, maybe 200 on this shelf or 150 or so. I think we're gonna be looking good. I am so excited guys. This is my childhood dream taking place as you see it right before your eyes, right before my eyes with me. With that, I'm out of here, but right now I'm gonna place on the shelf for a little end montage, my favorite game that hit me the hardest during my whole emotional experience right now. May not be my favorite game of all time, but it's the one that just hit me the hardest, made me feel so emotional during this, and so like, this is why I do this.